Okay, we're going to be making lava in 3ds Max. I'm going to click in the perspective view, hold down Alt W to go full screen. I'm going to make a sphere, just put it on the sphere. For this, I'm going to go into the material editor. You can hit M to get to the material editor. I'm going to use the slate material editor. If you want to go into the compact, you can change it here. Or you can come up here and choose this button for the compact. I prefer the slate editor. It shows me my node trees. Okay, so for this, we're going to be looking at setting up a basic node tree. We're going to be using some parametric, excuse me. We're going to be using some procedural maps for the lava, and I'm going to be using some bitmap for the um, rock. So I'm going to double click, create a standard material. We're going to come out of diffuse for the standard material, go in and create a noise. So this is going to be a procedural noise. From this noise, we're going to be making both the rock and lava and applying it to our sphere. So I'm going to move the sphere over so we can take a look at it. I'm going to drag from the output of the standard material onto the sphere. And then I'm going to click at the base level of the material and click here on Show Shaded Material and Viewport. Now we'll be able to see what the texture looks like. I'm also going to right click and open up a small preview window. This helps me to see while I'm working in the um, material editor. It's not always the best representation of the scene, so it's good to do renders and see what your texture is really going to look like in the scene. Okay, so when we look at this, our black is going to be our lava, our white is going to be our rock. We're going to be using a turbulent, and then to bring the colors a little closer together, um, we're going to take and adjust our high and our low. So when I take a look at this, we have um, our high clip at 1 and our low clip at 0. And that's why we're getting so many different degrees between black and white. So when I put these closer together, we're going to get starker color change. So I'm going to say 0.2 for my low clip and then 0.25 for my high clip. See what that looks like. All right, that's not too bad. I see it down here, but this is about what the scale is going to come out as. And it's a little big for the rocks for me. So I can make an adjustment here. I'm going to come down and just lower the, the size a bit. I'm going to bring it down to 18. Uh, let's bring it down a little bit long, lower. Something like that looks better for me. All right, so this is what it will look like if it's fractal. This is what it's going to look like it when it's turbulent. So with turbulence on, um, I want to make my adjustments. Here I'm going to put a map. So I'm going to use a few layers to make uh, enough variation in my colors for my uh, lava. So we're going to come out of the top channel and we're going to put another noise. And I will do that again. I'm going to name this top one out of color one lava because it's going to be my lava map and this one's going to be my rock map. So when we go back to this base noise you'll see I have textures that are set for lava and rock even though it still is just the gradient. I'm going to come into the lava and I'm going to Again, go in and adjust the high and low clip. I don't want it to be so well blended. I'm going to use Fractal. And then we're going to just bring these a little bit closer. I'm going to say 0.7. And we'll start with 0.5. We may want to adjust this later. I'm then going to go in and maybe Fractal works. I'll adjust the scale a little bit. Something like that. Okay, so inside of this map, 
and again this one's we're ignoring right now we're going to be putting some colors so I could do another node in my node tree to break up these areas a little bit further um, just to get a little bit more realistic look to it but just for simplification I'm going to just do colors here so I'm double clicking make sure I'm inside the lava and I'm gonna put two different shades one more red and the other I want to get a little redder Maybe a little darker um, and the second color we're going to do an orangey yellow okay. and again to me this needs a little bit more breakup so I might just duplicate this pull that in so now it's coming out of one channel duplicate it again put it into the second channel and in this one just change the colors somewhat so we can get more variation change the scale on that And then go to the second one here. I do want to change this color a little brighter. And also play around with the scale. That one. Yeah, we'll leave it fractal. Okay. So I'm getting a little darkness in the one map. And there we go, we'll just call that in. In our rock, we're going to come out and we're going to put some bitmaps in. So same sort of thing, we're going to go in, pick general, bitmap, we're going to pick an image. I downloaded some free rock images off of the internet, and I'm just going to do a second one. And by doing two, I can blend them and not get seams um, with the rocks. Okay, so we have that, and now I want my lava to have a bit of glow to it. The lava is very flat. So I'm going to duplicate this map by holding down shift, double click on it, and we're going to put this into our self illumination. Double click on our main um, material, and I'm going to say self color. And then we're going to just take a quick look at this. And you'll see we get a glow. Now we're getting a little bit on the um, on the rock because we do have some gray in the rock. So we don't want any in the rock. So I'm just going to turn this, turn off the rock texture. Uh, you'll see it turns white when we do a quick render because now it's 100% illumination with the white. And we're just going to change the white to black. And now when we do our quick render, we don't get any illumination there. All right, so we have that. We have our little lava rock. Now we can go and apply bump. So I want to actually have the bump coming off of the rock, not the lava. So we're going to duplicate this, go into bump, double click on the main material, go down to our bump setting, it's at 30%, just bring this up a little bit. And then take a look, see where we're at. So we're getting a little sense of, let's come in and look at it here, a little bit more sense of bump being there. 
And that's it. Now we have a quick, mostly procedural lava um, tutorial.